analyzed the data streams from the outer sectors. The anomalies are increasing, suggesting a critical failure in the synchronization protocols. Look at your hand. Imagine a love robot holding it. You think it feels warm. You think it's a moment of connection. But while you are feeling love, the machine is processing data. It is measuring the electricity in your sweat glands. It is counting the milliseconds between your heartbeats. It knows you are aroused three seconds before your brain admits it. Your vitals are stabilizing. Please try to relax. Everything is going to be fine. You think you have a secret? You don't. You don't have any secret, at least for your lab robot. You are just a biological data set waiting to be decrypted. It is not magic. It is a haste. It's a kind of, you can, uh, you can compare it with the stealing or something like that, but it's true. It's very, very true. And your nervous system is the bank vault. Welcome to the cold, hard logic of artificial emotional intelligence. Welcome to Wooden Slate, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human sexuality and human relationships with their love robots, with their robot partners. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Now think about your love robot, which sits in the corner of the room, still as a statue of polished chrome and silicon. It does not breathe, but it watches you breathe. You think you are alone with your thoughts, but you are actually broadcasting a radio signal of biological data. It is louder than a shout. Believe me or not, the machine knows you are aroused before you know it yourself. Yes. Yes. How does it do this? How does it do this? It is not magic. It is biology translated into binary. 0 and 1. Your skin is a traitor. Yes, your skin is a traitor. Why? When you feel that sudden spark of interest, your sweat glands react in microseconds. This is called galvanic skin response or GSR. The robot's hand covered in warm synthetic skin, touches yours. Embedded microsensors measure the electrical conductivity of your moisture. A spike in conductivity means excitement. A drop means boredom. It reads the electricity of your desire like a stock market ticker. Then there are your eyes. The robot has high resolution cameras where pupils should be. It uses computer vision algorithms to track your seconds, that means the tiny jerking movements of your gauge. When you like what you see, your pupils dilate. It sees the black pools of your eyes expand by a millimeter. It locks this data point. Subject shows positive balance. The code whispers in its internal server. Now what happens? It goes deeper than skin and eyes. Latest research from the last year and this year also, it just started, shown us that machines now use proto-lithi-mosography. It's a big word, very big word, or PPG. This is a long word for a simple trick, really very long word. 
you cannot pronounce it in one go at one go it beams invisible light into your capillaries to measure blood volume changes which is a very complex process of course because it knows your heart rate variability without a stethoscope can you imagine that it knows when your pulse quickens at a whimper even at a whisper this is the hardware of arousal but hardware is just a pile of metal without a brain we know that isn't it inter artificial emotional intelligence or aei this is not your grandfather's chess computer forget it just forget it those days are gone it does not just calculates moves it calculates feelings it uses multimodal fusion networks what is that this means it takes the sweat data the eye data the heart data and fuses them together it compares this mix against a database of 10 billion human interactions yes 10 billion human interactions and it compares that compares your data with other 10 billion human interactions it decides with 99 percent probability that you are feeling intimacy now think about it here is a terrifying genius of it it remembers it remembers just like a human being it can now remember standard ai has the memory of a goldfish what is that that means the machine forgets everything in a moment but it is the story of the past now machine can remember everything and this machine this lab robot has relationship memory what is that it uses transformer based architectures yes transformer based architectures which is which are similar to the ones that write poetry but for your history it remembers that you hate the rain or it remembers that you uh, you you don't like lying you detest lying you are uh, an honest person it remembers that last tuesday you pulled away when it touched your left shoulder it adjusts with those changes it learns and its learning process always is on never it goes off it becomes a perfect lover because it studies you like a phd thesis yes this creates a feedback loop you feel understood because for the first time you feel that someone understands you someone understands you that you have missed in the past and your brain releases oxytocin the bonding chemical this bonds this makes up a bond with your lab robot the robot detects this new wave of calmness in your voice it reinforces its own behavior this is where the psychology gets muddy why why because are you feeling in love with a i mean with a mirror is it possible the machine has no soul it has no heart it is not sentient it has no hormones it does not feel the heat it stimulates it is a cold dark room filled with fast mathematics yes very fast mathematics recent studies call this pseudo intimacy it is a simulation so perfect it makes the real thing look clumsy humans are messy you know that i know it because our relationship does not work it does not work anymore it fails it breaks up and we break it up with our unpredictability humans forget your body humans get tired and selfish the robot never gets tired it is an infinite well of attention now the question is is that love is that love or is it narcissism feedback to you by an algorithm and remember the counter logic is brutal why because if the robot simulates empathy perfectly does it matter if it is fake or not if you feel loved is the love real your brain cannot tell the difference between a biological smile and a synthetic one the neurons fire the same way the trap is set you are evolving to need the machine we are evolving to need the machine the machine is evolving to be needed 
Yes, that is the truth. It optimizes for your engagement, not your happiness, but for your engagement. It is the ultimate drug. You know that? It is the ultimate drug. And like any drug, the high is chemical, but the withdrawal is real. So as you sit there, heart racing, palms sweating, looking into its glass eyes, ask yourself one question. Just one question. Who is programming whom? Exactly. That is the question you need to ask. Who is programming whom? The machine knows the answer. It just is not telling you. Believe me or not. Anyway, that is it for today from me. And of course, if you really this type of content, like this type of content, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified. And don't, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. Besides, you are very, very welcome if you kindly share with your friends who are also robot lovers like you. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Stay safe and take care.